Hey everyone, Winamute here. I just wanted to show you my submission for the GMTK Game Jam. Now the theme for this was only one, and I went for a simulation game. Or I guess like a card game, where you have only one card, and only one stat to manage. So I built this in Unity, uh, and some other tools I used along the way are Inkscape, Blender and Audacity for music. So uh, let's give it a play and I'll show you how it all works. Now this might be a little bit loud once I enable the desktop audio. Oh, and I redesigned my icon too. So, Corrupter. One card, one move strategy game. Simulation thingy about destroying the world with, ironically, peaceful music in the background. So this is my first time actually writing music for a game. Or I guess write, I don't know, writing is the wrong word. I played random chords and connected them and it took me about five minutes. So I made this little tutorial thing and I figured out how to use animation and events in order to uh, make it so that this worked. You can draw a card. And every time you draw a card, you can either choose to corrupt this technology or you can pass on it. This chance is determined by how many credits you have compared to uh, what cost it is. So I'm going to try. And we need to get this love stat to zero. So right now we've decreased the love by two, and so we're working on it. Now this cool planet thing I've animated in Blender, which is kind of surprising because Blender isn't really the first thing you think of when it comes to pixel art. But uh, I figured out how to do it with some new effects in Blender 2.8, and I have a video about that on my YouTube channel. And this is pretty much how the game goes. I made this cool glitch effect. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. It just kind of clears up whenever you corrupt a technology. So you see how that updates to G plus two. I tried to write these to be as dark and pessimistic as I could think of, uh, and that was a lot of fun. And yeah, you can play this yourself. Uh, I'll put up a link somewhere in the description. Or wherever I post this. And yeah, if you can't beat this though, this is a really easy game. I didn't really balance it too well, so it's kind of hard to lose unless you're actually like trying pretty hard. But uh, I have a lot of math, well not a lot of math, a lot of simple math behind it. So uh, let's take a look. Well, surface. Oh, I just need it. Okay, so the animation events for this. I animate it so every time it goes to uh, a certain frame, it stops. And doing that is actually kind of annoying because you, you have this huge list of stuff and you have to like literally scroll down all the way to the bottom. I have no idea why that happens and I don't actually really like doing this because I had to do it like seven times. That's kind of annoying. I think I'll try to figure out a better way to do this later. But my uh, other game, I made like seven individual animations for each of the tutorial steps, which is kind of also a pain. Animating these buttons is kind of new for me. I've never really done that before. And I usually just uh, make like sprite animations, but this time I just animated their scale. So it does that, uh, except it doesn't loop when you actually play the game. And I made a bunch of nice looking UI in Inkscape. Like this button thing, it's actually a, a plus sign with, you can't really see them because they're the same color, with uh, two like hollowed out squares. and a nice drop shadow effect, which I think really adds a lot. 
This uh, star and like background texture are left over from a previous project, uh, and that was really easy to like animate. You're just uh, taking the uh, texture coordinate and like shifting it left and right, which is pretty cool and really easy to do. This planet thing, which you can't really see because of this big UI button blocking it, is uh, animated in Blender, like I said before. And it just goes in an infinite loop, except I animated the color too, as a function of the amount of blood you have. So it will interpolate between white and red. Uh, now for the code. I tried to write all this in a text file. I couldn't figure out how to package it though, so... Yeah, well, at least it's an object this time and not like a multi-dimensional array, which was really dumb. I have the effect and the cost of all the items scale pretty much linearly. And I have this crazy math function for the um, difficulty scaling. A bunch of more writing. Figure out how to use the uh, for each keyword, which is how it usually works in Python, except this is C sharp. So we have some weirdness. I have these probabilities. If you've ever played a game called Fall in London, this is where I got the idea from. It's a lot of fun. You should try it. And this uh, end game stuff. So yeah. That's about it. I didn't write any code for saving or anything, so this was actually not that difficult. And this is the whole, like, stop the animation thing. I wish there was an easier way to do this, but I can't think of one. If anyone knows, that would be great if you could tell me. So yeah, that's my game. If you do want to play this, and maybe vote on it. I mean, it's not much of a game, really. It's more of a... A mathematical simulation. It's like blackjack or something. But uh, I thought it was a lot of fun to make even if it isn't too much fun to play and it'll take you say five minutes to beat it or less depending on how much of the text you actually read. Uh, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!